I... There was actually a time, if you're wondering why I'm in this little alliance. I talked about it a little bit on why I'm actually in the chem alliance area in my last video on if you've got on what on what to do when you get zeroed and stuff but I'm debating right now if I want to actually stay in this hive for the next like week or just find the guy who cleaned who robbed my farm basically and burn him then go like because I know that this guy and this guy and this guy same with this guy he's they, they probably did did nothing it was just one guy, and I don't know if I should like burn the entire burn the entire entire alliance because of one guy's actions, or just kind of just burn the guy who basically robbed my farm. What's your thought on that? Leave a comment below. And um, the really cool thing is though, like I really could stay here for as long as I really want because I can actually shield forever, and it's really simple. Really, like how I do this. Like how I shield forever is basically every three days I use a three day peace shield. Okay. And this is how you can actually shield forever too. Use a three day peace shield. You will, if you want to actually use a strategy, you can buy packs. You can buy packs to get the gold to actually do it. You can win the gold on the wheel. If you watch my video on how to win big on the wheel actually. And actually, and, 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 and then like you saw me win that 15,000 gold. Then you'll know how to get gold gold on the wheel. Or you can actually get the monthly pack, which if you really want to use the strategy, I think the monthly pack is the most consistent method and it's the cheapest. Because you can lose a lot of gold on the wheel. And you can spend a lot of gold on packs. Just to use this method. But like truth like the monthly pack it's like twenty four ninety nine or something. Like eighty cents a day, truthfully. But the monthly pack, if you're wondering what that does, it gives you a thousand gold and two wishes every single day so every three days I'm getting 3,000 gold and a three-day peace shield only cost 2,500 so every three days I literally I still have an extra 500 gold if I want to just stay shielded forever so I, I could literally sit here forever not even leave if I'm just on the monkey pack and just literally just sit in this alliance and just literally wait until this guy maybe this guy or this guy has like 50 mil wood and he's like trying to upgrade something i could just come in for the swoop i probably won't do that because i'm gonna go back to my other lines my my actually territory but i just want to kind of illustrate <laughs> what i can do <laughs> there's actually a time back uh probably like this is whenever i was this is actually going on the other story that i shared what happens when you get the zero? Uh, actually, I talked about it a little bit in this, like, that day when I got zeroed on this guy, and I only had, like, literally, like, 80,000 troops left and no resources. What I did, actually, is I ported to the alliance that actually attacked me. I went into their hive, and I attacked a whole bunch of their lower castles. I got, like, I think 15 million or 20 million resources back just from that. And then I put a shield on. I think I put an 8 hour on first. Because one of the... The guy who was actually attacking us at like the fort. He actually ported right next to me. So I put like a, so I put a shield on really quick. I talked to him for a little bit. And I was like, you're going to port away really soon. And about after like a couple hours. He actually did port away. Then I went right back to attacking. Attacking, attacking. Then another guy tried to port in and attack me. And I, that's when I put on a 3 day shield. I literally sat in that alliance. For kind of using either a three day shield or like an eight hour and or like an eight hour shield or like a one hour or like a 24 hour shield i used probably two three hour shields and like i think two 24 hour shields and like three or four one hours and like two or three two or three eight hours but basically what i did is i sat in that alliance whenever i knew they were sleeping i literally attacked their castles because most of the castles I already killed a lot of their troops and like whenever they're out farming their castles were like empty there was literally no troops inside their castles so like i literally didn't even have to worry about perks or anything i just literally just attacked because no one was in their castles and stuff <laughs> eventually like i actually 
reported in on my farm. <laughs> this is this is just a rambling story, but I, like I like I actually ported it ported another hive on my farm, and he was level I think it, it was the J Farm two, not the one that got cleaned today, but the other one, and he was level eleven. <laughs> And I'm gonna show you the strategy eventually, but what we did, my my friend and I, it was Ghost and I, we we were the only ones in our alliance attacking this alliance back because we were the only ones who actually had troops left somehow. And whenever we kind of baited our farm, basically, like basically, you can imagine this guy. Just imagine he's my farm. Like I had eight hundred thousand wood and like. 700k food on them like I basically baited like that so if, so if anyone scouted it they'd see 800k wood 700k food and like three and like three troops so they'd automatically be like I'm attacking this guy <laughs> and when they and when, and when they would attack it we would reinforce it and we literally killed probably 200 300 400 thousand troop just from that method alone and eventually after like four or five days of just literally continuously doing that because like we were able to regain the food because everyone in their alliance who was like farming and stuff were similar troops out and we were just had easy access to attack them and stuff but we were just going ham they we eventually got a peace agreement and stuff but anyways back to what i'm saying how to shield forever that's kind of one of the benefits of shielding forever you can literally put your castle anywhere so like if you ever so if you ever find like if you ever come across someone you hate, you can just literally port right next to them, shield up, three day, eight hour, twenty four hours, it really doesn't matter, and just sit next to them, and just sit next to them and wait. It's kind of it's kind of a rude tactic if you actually do what I just told you in this video. You know, kind of like porting in on your farm and literally killing every single one of their troops. But it has its perks. It's really funny too. Other than that, really like how to shield forever is. You can, you can use the monthly pack to get the gold to actually buy three day shields or you can buy packs you know if you have the money you can easily buy packs or you can really win the gold on the wheel you know it's whatever works for you other than that i hope this video helped you if you have any thoughts on three day shields feel free to leave a comment below and if you are new subscribe for future videos other than that i will see you on the beaches of the world, my friend. Bye-bye.